Gemini, hi, welcome to your read. We're going to be looking at your mid-May 2022. Uh, these are general readings, so take what resonates, leave the rest for everybody else. Um, if you'd like a personal read, feel free to reach out to me on my email in the description below. Hmm. All right, Gemini, let's see what we got for you this week for your mid-May. Um, three of coins is your general energy. You're wanting to build a situation when it comes to love. I feel that. I feel that you're trying to build an empire here with somebody, but that kind of starts off kind of small. So it's kind of like hold your horses this week with that three of coins because you have the queen of coins being challenged. So this is telling me, you know, maybe you need to hold your horses uh, it, it, before you, you settle down on what you, and who you're going to build your kingdom with here. Uh, because I see that, you know, why you might be coming to tarot reads or looking for reads on YouTube here is because there's a knight of coins here. Uh, there's definitely some slower energies. Uh, somebody's definitely being patient here. And um, moving about tactically here. Now, in the past, there was a, an emotional breakthrough here. And I feel like it could have been with the person in question why you're here about at this read. I feel like there was some sort of emotional breakthrough, some sort of start. Um, your strength here, though, is four swords. You know, even though you have, like, a new situation kind of starting up, there's... Still a bit of tiny healing you have left to do here. And that could possibly be what's slowing down this person. Now, it's not like they know. Like, you may have not told them that, oh, I had a situation in my past and it hurt me. You may have not said anything. But people pick up on this stuff energetically, believe it or not. With the seven of coins here, um, there's still a lot of work to do here. And um, the result you're kind of looking for, I mean, is it out there? Yeah, it's out there. But is it is it going to like kind of come to fruition like this week in the mid mid month? Don't think so. I think it's it's about time and it's about waiting and it's about patience. And if anything, that this person's showing you a little bit of patience as well. Um, six of cups is what you don't see. Yeah, there's somebody here that, that has a lot of love for you. Um, now, they may not say it, and especially if a new person, uh, but what you may not know is that this is definitely something that's very soul attached, you know, but this could be like an, an energetical level. This is a very energetical type of feeling I'm getting from a specific person that's specific person that you're here about you guys are definitely very heavily energetically connected now when i say energetically uh some of you say oh gross you know like i want my person i want them on the physical well like here you are watching spiritual tarot videos and listening to spiritual gurus talk about astrology yet you're not willing to accept that energetically maybe you're attached to somebody here that that's actually has a lot of love for you they may not be there in the physical 3d but i feel like they're helping you push yourself into some sort of healing that you still have left to do here that's not what you want to hear that's not the thing you want to hear when you come to a tarot card read but it's just how i feel when i look at these cards Um, your advice here is Ace of Wands. 
There's new things out there. Just like you had this thing start up in your not so recent past here, I feel like there is a there is a reset here from the universe. It's brought to you by the universe. But it's like you can't really have a reset if you're not really ready to move forward now, can you? Nah, I don't think so. Um, you have the Queen of Cups here in your hopes and fears. Um, you know, that's that's wanting to change. That's being very hopeful for some sort of change. Um, this is also being an intuitive and learning. You know, you could be learning spiritual things at this time too. Just like I said, there's a very deep sense of spirituality attached to this connection you have. It doesn't mean that the person's with you or that they're going to come back, but there is a lesson here. And I feel like when you when you learn to humble yourself and quiet your ego about what it is connecting with somebody or like, you know, well, why do I have to have my spirituality exposed through relationships? Or in particular, this Knight of Coins has been moving hell of slow. Why is that? That's a good question to ask yourself because you're going to have this hermit moment where you keep asking yourself this. And it doesn't matter what I say here on this tarot read for you, Gemini. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what I say, you're going to have to kind of dig deep inside of yourself to find that answer as to why this triggered something spiritually for you. I think when you, when you figure that out and you just pushed a little bit of tiny healing, because I don't think it's a lot of healing you need. I think it's just a little bit. For some of you, I feel like this is just a tiny little cry you need. Or maybe you need to get out or maybe start a gym routine here or like, I don't know, like <laughs> a Zumba class. I don't know. Um, some of you I'm hearing boxing as well. Some of you might want to get into boxing or Muay Thai. Go for it. I mean, however you heal, do that your way, you know. And I think what you take away from that is that you can kind of like silence that ego that certain people need to be with you because you feel it energetically. I get you, you feel something energetically, but it doesn't mean that you're gonna get that specifically. I feel like you do have new things starting for you in the future, but now's kind of like not that time. I think now is the time when you kind of focus on the spiritual journey that you're on. You know, some of you could be learning tarot cards on the side, some of you doing astrology on the side, but I feel like this is kind of like a little time out pause moment for you, Gemini, this week. Let's get an oracle advice card for you. Yeah, and I don't even know if it matters if this character shows up or not, or like it's, it really doesn't matter. I feel like you have something that is showing up here. Um, more action oriented. All right. All right, now this is the water kanji. Oh, by the way, these are dragon oracles. Uh, I think I may have mentioned it, but they were given to me by a friend here in Japan. And uh, this water here is 17 Sudiyu. Yeah, basically this is combining elements, um, the spiritual elements, the emotional elements. And I feel like it is really closely related to that Queen of Cups, right? Um, you may feel like you're ready for love. You may feel like, you know, you're ready for something new to enter your life or for this slow person, very slow thing or a thing that's just connected to you energetically. Uh, does, doesn't matter what it is. I think this is a time for you to kind of open up that intuition of yours and do that little bit of healing and realize that, you know, only you have that answer you're going to find the answer. And I think I've mentioned that already. It doesn't matter what I say, just read it. So you're going to dig deep within and find that answer. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Could be dealing with an earth sign. A lot of earth. 
that's all I got for the sweet Gemini. I'll see you guys again next week. Take it easy.